Welcome to the Art Studio, Miss Perna and Mrs. Degroot. Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to make some dragon eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our paper so it's horizontal and we're gonna fill up our page uh, with the dinosaur eye and then we're gonna add scales around them. So the first step is I'm gonna take and do kind of a curve line on the top. Leave yourself enough room to go around. You don't want the eye to fill up the whole page so you have room for the scales. And then underneath, I'm gonna do a big rainbow line and connect them. So that's the start of my dragon eye. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do two curved lines to come down to kind of give it the shape of an oval for the eye. So curve line down, curve line down. You can fill that in with your black or your pencil, whatever you've got is fine. And then it gives the eye more of a shape. Okay, after we do that, we're gonna do the middle of our eye. We're gonna do the pupil. So I'm just gonna do a skinny diamond. So I'm gonna do an upside down letter V and then a letter V, connect it. But you could also do a couple other things. So you have your diamond, you can do uh, like an oval, look skinny oval. You could do kind of a funky design by adding uh, lines all the way around. I would stick to something like that. And of course you're gonna color them in. You can add a little highlight to them like I have here. So to do that, I'm just gonna do a backwards C, like a moon shape. And then I'm gonna fill in that eye. Okay, so you want that pupil to be black. Okay. And then after you do that, you're gonna do a row of scales around your dragon eye. And they can be uh, different sizes too. So if I wanted to do some different scales, I can do like some triangle shapes. Just make sure they're a closed shape. You can do upside down letter U's, rainbow lines, close them. You can do more of like a rectangle shape. Okay, so it's really up to you what you wanna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some of those like triangle shapes and I'm gonna go all the way around making one row all the way around uh, that eye. Okay. And I could do some that are a little bit bigger, maybe towards the end. And then I'm gonna do some down here. And then I start building around my dragon eye. Okay. And then after you do that, you're gonna make some bigger scale, bigger dragon scales around it. Now to do that, you can do the same types of scales or you could do different uh, types of scales, but you wanna make sure that they're closed pieces so that this way when we color them, we could fill them in as well. So I'm gonna start by doing, let's see, I'm gonna do kind of those rectangle shapes. And it's okay if they go off your page too. I'm gonna add those rectangles all the way around. After you do that, you can color it. The pieces around your scales, you can do all one color. So that's the color of your uh, dragon skin. And then you can have the scales be two colors and then I'm gonna have the eye be two colors. When you do your two colors, so I'm gonna do these two colors for the eye right now. I'm gonna choose a darker color to go around the outside. And I'm just gonna do the outside uh, piece of that eye to make it look like those colors are kind of mixing together. Okay, 
So I'm going all the way around that eye, my first color. And you can have it come inside a little bit because you're gonna end up doing another color over top of it. All right, and then I'm gonna take my second color and I'm not gonna go over the whole outside, but I'm gonna go over the inside piece to make it look like that color's blending in a little bit. And it just starts to give it a more realistic look to, to the eye. Okay, then after you do that, you're gonna choose two colors to do your scales. I would choose two totally different colors. Okay, I'm gonna do, let's say I'll do a purple and a turquoise. So, and then the same thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside the edges of those scales. So I'm just gonna do a couple of them so you get the idea. And then on the inside with my second color, this way they're mixing in. Okay. So now you can do one row, all two colors, and then two colors behind it. You could keep using the same two colors for every scale around it, it's up to you. Then when you're done coloring your scales, you can color the white background or whatever color you have for a background uh, and then create your dragon skin. So have fun coloring and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe so you'll never miss any of my new videos.